Join us in celebrating Science Week here on the Weather Channel. To do that, here's a fun experiment you can do from the car, the living room, or wherever you are right now. Yeah, we're going to do it right now. It's called the 20 Second Challenge, and Dr. Marsha Shepard joins us now to explain how it's done. Dr. Marsha Shepard, I guess the best example right out of the gate is how we're talking to you, how we hear you, you see us, right? Yeah, the Perfect. game is scan the room, Marshall. How does it work? <laughs> Yeah, no, I, you know, I wrote an article in Forbes that I'll tweet it a little bit later if people want to learn more about this 20-second science challenge. Look, I was just thinking about looking around the room, wherever you are in the car, and in 20 seconds, identify all of the things that you're benefiting from science and technology. I mean, the Weather Channel is a science network. I mean, from the weather satellites to the communications technology to the weather models. All of that is because of science, medicines that someone probably took this morning for their health issues, science. And so it's important that we embrace, understand, and fully support it. Okay, so as we look around the room, it's pretty easy for us in a studio like this. You know, you have the lights, uh -huh. you have our microphone. I mean, there's a lot of technology, but it's not mm -hmm. just the technology that was created by science, our clothes, you know, the chairs, materials, stuff like that. Yeah, right. I mean, Yeah, exactly. It, it, sorry, Jim, the, it's the iPhones, it's GPS in our cars. And the, the point I'm making in the article as we move up to the, to the uh, March for Science later this week is these things don't just go poof and come out of existence. They come from years and sometimes decades of research. The new GOES uh, weather satellite that you all are showing on the network there, that came from years of development and scientific research. And so we have to sustain it, not uh, attack it. And you know what's most amazing to me, Dr. Shepard, is a lot of the best science actually comes from a lot of mistakes, right? Exactly. Yeah, the, the serendipity, Jim. Um, many things we discover because we were looking for something else or we were trying to develop a new product. I spent 12 years of my career at NASA before I came to the University of Georgia. And many of the things that came out of the space program and technological development are now being used in our households every day or mm -hmm. by the medical community or whatnot. So uh, science is very much ingrained in every aspect of our lives. Mar yeah, Marshall, we're let's talk about the March for Science. What is this exactly? How can people get involved? What do we need to know? Well, yeah, one of the things that the March for Science, is it's trying to bring awareness to science. And I'm not really sort of big on this notion of politicizing science. Science needs to always be the honest broker in the room, as I write. So we need to make sure that people just are aware of how science is in their lives every day and how sort of a, a, a front attacks on science and scientific research ultimately affects their lives today and their kids' lives going forward. We don't want our kids living in a scientifically less advanced uh, society than we do because uh, Republicans, Democrats, and whatever you call yourself all saw the benefit of science decades ago. Mm -hmm. And that's why we have iPhones and nice weather models now and new medical procedures and even our military benefits from science. Yeah. Man, think about it, Dr. Shepard. People are asking us, what's the forecast for my wedding coming up in June or July? Someday that may be a, a reasonably good forecast forecast, right? Because of yeah. science. Yeah, you know, short-term climate prediction, you know, weather models. I mean, if you look at what we're inter coming up on hurricane season, our track forecasts have improved steadily over the decades. That's because of research. All right, Dr. Awesome Shepard, you can check uh, Dr. Shepard every Sunday at noon right here on the Weather Channel. I love the way he looks at things.